Hi guys, it's Hilly Zavaro. Today I would like to show you how I create images with writing inside artificial intelligence images, images that were generated with artificial intelligence. This is another example. Students can generate messages that they want to convey, to express to the world. They can perhaps design their favorite store. They can design their dream store. Okay, so this is, for example, uh, a school I generated. Top view of a school uh, that is an art school. Here's another example. So let's see how we do this. Okay, so if this is your first time, you want to go to ideogram.ai and then log in. So click on login or sign up with Google. That is really the way you should start. Sign up with Google. And then just add in your Google account and you'll be directed right in. Then you'll be directed to the home page and inside you can see a lot of cool things people have created in the past and you can see that it has um, a text inside. Everything is with text. So let's see what and how we do this. First of all, we want to click on typography right here, right before this text uh, box that says describe what you want to see. You want to click on typography. Then you want to write something um, that you want to see. Now, the cool thing is that you can see everyone else's images and right under each image, there's actually the prompt. So you can look at the prompt and see what, they, what, what it says. For example, this one um, says t-shirt design image in a comic style cyber logo, da 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 and a text that says sparkle. Let's look at this one. Space pen with the text. I need more space. Fantasy art. Sci-fi with transparent background. Dark fantasy. And so you can see that it's this style. So if you like this style, you can definitely copy the prompt. And then we can work on something similar. So I have the text box right here. I'm going to click on typography right below. I'm going to paste the prompt that I had from before. And now I can make some changes. So instead of a spaceman, perhaps I can write something like um, a lion with the text um, King of the Jungle. Fantasy, sci-fi. Uh, yeah, it's funny if it's a sci-fi transparent background. And let's see what it does for me. All right, it took about two minutes for it to be actually ready and in high quality. I have one here that looks pretty good. It actually has the words in it. Okay, it took another minute for it to be completely ready. So we have one with it with the text, which is wonderful. And we have others without without text. I'm going to show you a website. This website is called Mid Library and it has all sorts of styles. So if you want to use any of these styles in your, um, in your images, then go ahead and use them. So for example, if I want to, um, maybe create a photo of the perfect school and I want to give it a name and I just want to invent something. Okay. So maybe this is, um, some kind of a paper or project I give to my students where they have to plan everything in the school. And so they have to create images for, uh, that school. And so maybe I want to go with something um, in the style of illustrations. And then inside, I choose the style of the artist that I want my picture to look like. All right. So maybe I want my school to look um, in the style of this artist, perhaps. So I'm going to copy his name, Carl Barks. And now I'm going to go ahead and write here something like... Um, Carl Barks art of a beautiful school, or maybe a beautiful art school, because maybe I want to, I want it to be an art school with, uh, paintings and a, a garden with the word art school. 
or maybe I can put my name just for the heck of it. Healy's Art School. Um, and I added made from flowers or made, made out of flowers. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> so now I'm going to click on typography. And so they have it typography. I can also click on cinematic or maybe car box is enough. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Another thing I want to add to my prompt is top view. Because I don't want it to show only part of the school. I want it to show everything from a top view. And I'm going to click generate. All right. So this is what I got. This one looks really, really good. It's exactly what I wanted. Of course, it doesn't look perfect. But it's definitely top view school with flowers, um, artsy things. Um, here also a nice picture, but he only managed to generate the word Healy's. Here it only has art school and here it says heal art. So it's very, very similar. Really nice experience to have. I also managed to, um, to create this one. This one looks nice. Those don't have the writing, but this one has heels art school. I'm going to try and generate uh, a special toy store. Toy store. I'm going to write 3D render cinematic and um, I'm going to have it have um, a sign that says um, the AI education store I added the word typography okay this is what I got as you can see when I write 3d render it gives me this kind of style um, Wow I have the toy education store I have AI education this one doesn't really say anything and this one doesn't say anything so I think it's really nice um, we can go ahead and think about things students can generate with this one thing definitely definitely book covers new book covers um, story covers images related to uh, literary pieces and if you do that, make sure that they use a prompt, they write their own prompt that really, really describes uh, the characters in the story. Um, you can work on some entrepreneurship, invent, invent a restaurant, invent a school, invent um, a city, a culture, uh, anything like that. And you can also definitely use it for uh, print, for messages. Okay, things like when you want to express a message to the world. Okay, uh, it can be stickers in the in the in the style of stickers. Then the students add the word sticker to it. Um, it can be a poster. It can be somebody holding a sign. Perhaps um, they can they can uh, generate something that looks like a man protesting and holding a sign. Look at the. Um, and the prompt here picture of a happy and smiling protester in a city holding a sign that says want to rank on the first page of google and in case something doesn't look right for example here you can click on the word remix and then you can change it a little bit change the um the prompt and so the computer is going to use a reference picture and it's going to look closer, very, very close to that specific picture. You can delete um, a part of the prompt and change it a little bit. For example, instead of this, I'm going to write save our planet. And I can use also typography here and cinematic if I want or fashion and then click generate. And this is what I got. So as you can see, it's very similar to the reference photo. And the writing is different. It looks better. You can do this if the writing doesn't come up uh, really well. For example, if I go back to my pictures, um, I can <clears throat> click on this one, for example, and then remix. And then I can do this and say... Um, Instead of having this long thing here, the AI 
store, the AI toy store. And hopefully this will help generate. Great, this one looks better. So if you don't get it right, just click on remix and try again. I think this one came up really nice, came up nice. So I have great um, ideas here. Wonderful. So I hope you like the tutorial and will use it. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.